what's up? Uh, my hair looks crazy, but I just, I don't really care. It's red now. We've been back. Or no, no, no. We've been gone for a minute. See, we had some, uh, some issues. We thought Rachel's computer, like, completely died on us. Turns out her charger just broke, so we've been absent for basically no reason at this point. Um, but yeah, we're back into it. I wanted to do sort of a Shop My Stash video. Recently, there have been a lot of brands coming out with, like, just gorgeous cool tone palettes. Uh, Lime Crime has one. I'll uh, have them put on the screen right here. But Lime Crime has one. Um, it's like a eight pan palette, I think. And it's just, oh, it's so sexy. And then um, ColourPop just came out with one that I just think is gorgeous. Rachel kind of crapped on it, but I think it's stunning. And I love cool tones, but I don't wear them all that often. Uh, but I do own a few. And so I wanted to do like kind of shopping my stash for those things, you know, like looking for things in my collection so I don't go out and buy those things. Um, we're on a more of a low buy than a no buy right now, but I, I, I anticipate we're going to be on a low buy for a while, uh, probably longer than anticipated. So I said anticipate twice, whatever. I'm just going to get into it. I was messing around earlier and I put some Natasha Denona shadows in this palette here. This is the cranberry palette, but I switched out a lot of the shadows in here and this is kind of like my cool tone dream minus a black. Um, so I got shadow on my hand. So I'm going to do a look with this today and just sort of shot my stash for some other things, show you how to pair cool tones. Uh, I just saw Lauren May Beauty do a video like this. I'll link it in the eye and then down in the description box. Um, I love Lauren so much, but um, yeah, I'm going to use this today and yeah, we'll see what happens here. I do have my eyes, um, primed might be a bad word, but I have them with some stuff on them and then I filled in my brows already. I used the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in shade 5. Looks like this. One of the best brow products on the planet in my personal opinion. I'm going to take this shade right here. I will um, list what shades they are on the screen. I'll tell Rachel what to do, but I'm going to list these shades on the screen. But I'm going to take this one right here, this, uh, this lightest matte shade. And I'm going to use a Morphe M573 brush and I'm going to buff this uh, like on the outer half of my crease. I'm just going to kind of build that gradually until I like how it looks. I want something really dramatic and like, you know, as per usual. And I kind of want that like all the way up to my brow because that's just kind of the look I go for. <laughs> On a slightly smaller yet still fluffy brush, this is the Morphe M433. I'm going to take this, um, no actually not yet. I'm going to take this cranberry color. This is from the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. I believe it's called Daisy. Again, we'll list it on the screen. Um, and I think this shade just goes really well with cool tone looks. So I want to add kind of like that touch of cranberry kind of pink tone in the crease before I deepen it up even more. I just think it pairs beautifully. And I've been loving like pinks and purples with my hair like this. Like so much. <laughs> I'm kind of in a rut with pinks and purples right now. I haven't worn like a blue or a green eyeshadow in God knows how long. This is looking a little patchy for some reason, but I used a base I never used, so that's probably the issue. Uh, I'm gonna buff that out with that original brush that we used with the like gray color on it. And then on A, JH37 brush. I'm going to take the deeper kind of gray matte here. Well, actually it's more of a satin, but I use it as a matte because I don't like a satin shade on my lid. It's just, bleh. I want something, you know, like really shimmery, but I'm going to put this on the outer corner again. And I will use a black because I can't not use a black. It's just not something that I don't really understand how people don't use a black eyeshadow in day-to-day -day life, but like, that's fine. So. How do you guys feel about cool tones? I personally think they're stunning, but I know they're not super popular. So there, are there any cool tone palettes you've been like lusting after or anything? Or do you plan to pick those up? Or I know Lime Crime is controversial, but I heard that their brand got sold um, 
like to a different owner so like the original owner i guess did a bunch of crazy like racist stuff i think jay kissa did like a documentary kind of thing on it but they they were like they were like dressing up as nazis and stuff it was it was intense <laughs> It may or may not come together, honestly. I'm gonna take the black. This is from the um, Jacqueline Hill, what's it called? Dark Magic palette. This is also a great cool tone palette. I quite like this one, honestly. Um, I know these were kind of hit or miss, but I, I like it. So I'm gonna take the black in here, which is called Temptress. And this is a uh, JH40. This is my favorite brush ever. I have like four of these Morphe brushes. <laughs> um, they're just, they're everything I need more. So I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner lower though I'm not gonna bring that up to my crease because that, that would just look a little wild okay and then I'm gonna take this shade right here this is from the Leela palette as well again I'll leave the name um, it's like this gorgeous swatch it for you I mean you'll see it on my eye but it's this gorgeous like cool tone purpley gray shift oh it's just it's everything I've ever wanted and more so I'm gonna put that on my lid I am going to take some oh some glitter glue from NYX um, I'm gonna take that on my finger and I'm gonna apply the shade with my finger because I'm just a finger ass bitch honestly I'm gonna put that on my lid I'm not gonna cut my crease or anything because Ain't nobody got time for that, so I'm just gonna pat that. Can you see? Okay. Up in here. And oh, that is such a gorgeous color. Can you even see how gorgeous that is? I don't know. I'm gonna put more on. I'm gonna have to take a clean brush and like buff out the edges of that real quick because it's a little messy right here. That's the, the downfall of applying shadow with your finger, but you can easily clean that up. But here's what we got so far. I'm gonna add a little bit of black again, just to kind of mesh those two areas together um, instead of having it be such a harsh line with the shimmer and the matte, but. Yeah, okay, I'm into it. Actually, I'm gonna deep it up even more. <laughs> For my inner corner, I'm gonna take the silver here. This is um, from the Natasha Denona Blue Brown palette. I believe it's called Aluminum. Don't quote me on that though. And I'm going to take that on a pencil brush. This is the BH Cosmetics It's My Ray Ray number seven brush. Looks like this. I'm gonna take some of that silver, tap off the excess because it's that has no mirror. It's pretty intense, but I, I, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the inner corner for some, for some pop. A little bit over the inner part of that purple there, just for fun. Um, I'm gonna do the other one real quick and then we will come back for the base. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I know things look a little crazy at the moment. Um, they will come together, I hope. I just have to kind of clean up this outer work there. Um, so we'll see how that happens. Um, I'm kind of, I've been kind of playing with the idea of doing a project pan. So let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. I don't know. I, it seems kind of hit or miss on what people actually want to see when it comes to that, but I'm going to go on to the base here. I'm going to start out with my handy dandy Becca under eye corrector um, and I'm gonna use that on a Real Techniques crease prep brush um, because I've just been craving an under eye corrected moment here I've been using the pixie one because I'm trying to get more use out of that but the Becca one just it reigns supreme just because of the texture um, and the color everything about this is just everything I've ever wanted and more <laughs> the best product on the planet. Nothing changes my concealer game like this product. I'm gonna bounce that over the edge of my eyeshadow a little bit just to clean it up a, a little smidge. Um, and then I've been starting out with concealer first because I find that I don't need as much foundation if I conceal first because then I know where my coverage is. 
So I'm going to use kind of a mix. Um, I'm trying to use up this uh, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in the shade Custard. Uh, this is a little dark for me right now, but I'm going to mix it with um, something else. I'm just going to take it on this Morphe E8 brush. I'm going to swirl that brush in there and apply it. Oh god, I got a lot. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's a little too deep, a little too yellow. It's definitely custard colored, um, but I will make this work. A few smidges, I wish I wouldn't have used that much though. I'm gonna take the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glue Palette I'm gonna take the highlighting cream shade right here because this is like it looks kind of like a deeper yellow in here not a deeper yellow but just darker I don't know you can't tell on camera because the lights but it looks darker but it's super light like it's if you want to highlight it under eye this is basically off-white um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this to hopefully help correct my dark under eye issues maybe Yeah, I think that worked. And if you can't tell, like, that covered most, if not all, of my redness. There's a little bit down here still, but, like, after this, I, I only need a little bit of foundation. Like, one pump tops, so that that's why I kind of like doing this these days. Um, I don't necessarily even do the, like, the reverse thing where you do, like, your cream contour and everything underneath foundation. I just find that concealer underneath foundation, just, it's easier not to over-apply product. And I am a big advocate for not over applying product because I think if you use multiple pumps of foundation then your skin looks ugly. So, <laughs> so that's all I have to say on that. Um, I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Fair 25 Warm. Uh, how I like to use this is I like to rub it on the back of my hand. Beep, 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 beep. Um, I don't know if that was too much or too little but about that much <laughs> and then I like to take a drop or eight of oil this is the pixie rosehip oil it's just kind of what I use for my makeup when I do it I'm gonna add one two three drops of that which is I mean probably overkill but I um, don't care what you think and you're not my real dad so this random brush I don't know I think it's from crown um, all my other foundation brushes are dirty so I'm just gonna use this one I'm going to foundation my face. I don't like this ColourPop foundation unless I use this technique, FYI. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but I'm sure I have before, but I, it's too matte for me. Um, it's, I love the coverage level. It's a very um, light to medium coverage, which I just adore in a in a foundation but this one it's it's a like a light coverage matte foundation which is just disgusting for one I feel like that's kind of against the law but maybe not I could be I've been wrong before but at this point see I already I had too much foundation my face is covered so I guess I'm just gonna foundation my whole neck oh I guess my chin could use a little more on the tip of my nose maybe and then another technique I like to personally use when I add too much product to my under eyes specifically is I take a dry sponge and I tap out the rest of that coverage on my under eyes because there was too much stuff and I don't like too much stuff. I was just talking about how I don't want to over apply and I just really fucked it up with concealer so that was nice. And hold on I gotta fix my outer corner a little bit here. Um, I'm going to just continue using this palette. I'm going to go in first with the cream contour shade. Where is my brush? I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics number three brush. This is also one of my favorite foundation brushes of all time, but it's just cream, creamy. It's just dirty with cream products, so I'm going to use that contour. And I know I've told you guys this before, but I just freaking love this palette. I'm sorry that this is a bougie tutorial. I just, I love Natasha Denona with my whole heart. I love the brand. I love everything about it. And I just, 
I'm really happy with this eye look so far actually because I've been uh, messing with the Lila palette and just not having great luck with it like on its own it just it's not like it looks bad it's not like the shadows go patchy or anything um, I have a video too where that goes wrong I'll link it in the eye but it's not like the shadows go patchy it's just I don't like how the look comes out which is weird because I love the color story um, but I'm just never satisfied with how the look comes out so I think maybe just combining it with other colors like this is something that I'll need to do more because I quite like this so yeah I like how how that looks okay I'm going in with this the highlighter in this palette one because I want to use it more and two whoa because it's a little more cool toned so um, I'm gonna start in with the cream highlight and I'm gonna take this real techniques multitask cheek brush which is true this is good for just about everything so I'm gonna take some of that cream highlighter I'm just gonna buff it I guess it's very like it's very natural I think um, it's got a nice gloss to it but the undertone I think of the powder highlight is what I don't like I'm gonna use it today um, but it's just I think it's a little too cool toned maybe and maybe just a little too dark for me I just don't I don't quite know about the powder highlight everything else in this I freaking love but those don't know about that sis People will say that like they look too greasy and I'm like I just I don't think I understand <laughs> quite what you're saying because I don't know what that means <laughs> personally. Might as well go in with powder highlight now so I'm going to use the Morphe M438 brush and the powder highlight in here and this is <laughs> this is a very dusty highlight I don't know if you can see how much powder kick up I got in here. It looks very pretty on the skin but like it's like you're smoking with it like it's it's super intense like that as far as powder kick, kick up goes but I'm gonna oh. you know what I misjudged this I quite like that all right I'm gonna use this bronzer from Colourpop I have no idea what the shade is um, but I'm gonna use it because it's kind of a it's a more cool tone like ready color um, it's uh, fairly deep for me but I can make it work this is some brush from Japanesque that I love but it sheds like crazy and those sticks in my foundation so if only they made this brush where it didn't shed but I'm not gonna buy the NARS one because see I don't have time for that I'm going to use this uh, to kind of set my bronzer and kind of uh, amp it up a bit as far as the dimension on my face because I like a <laughs> what may I say I like a fairly heavy application oh my goodness gracious good god look at my hairline <laughs> well that looks bad but you know well do I care it's 9 p.m. I don't care so it's fine so I'm gonna keep doing this nah, it could look worse it actually doesn't look bad it's just my hairline and like I don't know well maybe it's not maybe it does look bad I can't tell <laughs> I'm gonna take the powder contour now <laughs> on this Jacqueline 05 brush which I love for contour might I add just kind of do its thing I don't normally contour but if I do I'm using this color because it's perfect <laughs> for blush I'm gonna use this Allmark cosmetics blush trio one of my faves of all time if you'll focus you'll see we hit pan which is so cool I'm gonna use this shade because it, it's more cool toned and uh, also very pretty so I'm gonna use that on this uh, wet n wild brush oh this is the shade toasted by the way it's probably gonna look pretty intense because it is but I like a pretty heavy blush application so it doesn't it don't bother me too much all is wet I'm gonna go on with my foundation brush and just Cut this out a hair. Will you focus, please? God. Bless it. Okay. Add black in my waterline. This is the Pretty Vulgar Gel Liner. I don't recommend this um, for the waterline. It looks fantastic at first. It's deceiving because it's so black and so pigmented that it just looks like everything you could ever want and more from a black eyeliner in your waterline. But see, then it smudges everywhere. It transfers like a mofo so 
I wouldn't actually recommend this, but like, it's the easiest gel liner I've ever worked with, that's for sure. Oh, I take that on the back of a brush, by the way. I know I've mentioned that in a video before, so. It is the, oh, smudge brush. Fitting. I'm gonna, where did I pal? I'm gonna take the black. <laughs> I'm gonna smudge that on the lower lashes, in the lower lash line. I'm afraid to stamp my face because I have like dark shadow all over my hand. And if I ruin this, I will cry for like eight years, so. I just wanna be very careful for, for with what I do. And then on the, um, the JH33 that we used with that like pinky shade, I'm actually just gonna take the deepest gray mixed with the cranberry shade. Hopefully the formulas don't clash too much. And I'm gonna, I always do this. It doesn't have a mirror, Victoria. Oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna put this on more. Lash line, I'm gonna smudge that out a bit. There is a dog hair. And I don't want that in my way. Did the lighting change? Or am I tripping? I don't know. Take um, a translucent powder of some kind. Um, I'm just gonna use the Japanese blotting powder from the Natasha Denona Sculpting Glow Palette. I'm gonna take it on this big old fluffy wet n wild brush. And I just like to buff over the edges of the lower lash line so that way it kind of like sets my concealer a little bit and it also um, makes sure the shadow is perfectly blunt. So I'm gonna do lips before I pop on lashes and I'm gonna do Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Cause see I'm, I don't wanna deal with anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful, perfect, I love it. Actually, on top of that, I'm gonna go over with the Milani Make It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in Prismatic Peach. I don't know if you can tell, but we have absolutely none of this left. <laughs> There's just like a little bit that I can scrape out on the edges here. So, yeah. So this is the completed look um, with all of my stuff. Stuff. I did decide in my absence while putting on lashes, I am going to film a project pan video. I'm gonna do it. And I just want, I think I want to challenge myself. Uh, we tried one time and we did one update and then we failed miserably, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I think I'm gonna do that. But uh, let me know uh, your thoughts on A, cool tones, and if you slander them, I will block you. Just so we're clear on that because I love them. Uh, and let me know your thoughts on like all the new releases. Are you shopping your stash more? Are you still buying everything that comes out? Like are you still in that buy 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 habit? Or are you more like I have enough I'm gonna tone it down? Because that's kind of where I'm at. There's a few things that I'm like I kind of want to you know snatch that up. But for the most part I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the million thousand makeup items I own. So uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe before you go. Let's put that out there because uh, Clearly, who wouldn't want to watch this hot mess uh, do more videos? And my twin sister, obviously, but she's like secondary. This is Victorials, you know, not Twintorials. We're doing a name change. Anyway, I will see you guys later, and I hope you have a swell evening or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Um, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!